Hey all you awesome fuckers. So tomorrow I'll be getting four wisdom teeth ripped out, two of which are impacted. Bring on the pain and highly effective pain medication, I say. Now my face will most likely resemble that of a baboon's inflated ass as I recover over the coming week, which means I won't be able to upload anything. Thankfully, some wonderful YouTube mates will be providing you with some totally bitching tits relief content as guests on my channel. So here's an oldie to tie you over for now, and as soon as my jaw doesn't make me sound like a phallic object is wedged fair down my throat, I'll be back to making videos. Thanks to all you guys and to the YouTubers filling in for me. So without further a fucking around, on to some classic tits. Oh, here we go. Hi guys, Tits here. So I was doing the rounds on YouTube when I came across this video of some girl named Zara Larson. I didn't know who the fuck this was, so I had to look her up. Apparently she won one of those stupid singing competition shows like X Factor or Idol. Looking further into it, I realised that she's responsible for that song they kept repeating on the radio a while back. Over and over and fucking over again. I hated that song then, and I still hate it now. You may know the song for the monotonous, repetitive, vacuous piece of shit it is, but here's a sample. A limit day as if it was the last, limit day as if there was no past. Ugh. Doing it all night, all summer. Doing it the way I wanna. I know. Fucking shithouse, right? So anyway. Miss Lawson is also a very outspoken feminist who likes to play the victim about receiving rape and death threats. Even though thoughts and ideas that she posts on her blog site and Twitter accounts are packed with man-hating feminist garbage. Having said that, let's check out this video. For me, it's very important to speak out about issues that I find important. Good for you. But you should always make sure you look at both sides of the argument with sincerity before you speak out about it. Lest you look like a clueless airhead twat. So if I can say something about how important feminism, 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 feminism is, I don't think you understand. Nah, bitch. Maybe you don't understand. Maybe, just maybe, an 18-year-old pop star with fuck-all life experience is not qualified to lecture people on their morals and values. Just saying. How upset men get when you tell them off. Of course they're gonna be upset, bimbo. Anyone would be upset having to listen to a condescending know-it-all talk down to them. Not to mention someone who regularly tells men that they're assholes. It's insane. You would know, being that feminism does represent the voice of insanity. It's insane. Insane in the fem brain. Bitch is insane, got no brain. I've received a lot, a lot of hate. And there just couldn't be anything you've said or done that instigated this hate. Of course not. Little old vag victim you. Hey, you're just a victim of the cunt, aren't you? Mostly because, be like, that's been a really big thing in my country, Sweden. Oh, I've heard about your country, Sweden. And I bet there are a lot of Swedish people who find this whole SJW crazy you've got going on over there intolerable. But forcing boys to pee sitting down to discourage masculinity is disgusting. Some critics say Sweden's government is taking a feminist agenda to an almost radical level. There's a politician who proposed that men should be required by law to urinate in a sitting position. And I do run a blog where I write a lot about those kind of things. Reddit, it's crap. And it's, it's actually crazy how people can be so upset. Because an upset feminist isn't something you'll find, ever. About something so, so basic when it comes to human rights, you know. Feminism has reached a place way beyond human rights. Someone's always got to be a victim or oppressed, and you'll never 
ever be happy. You'll always find something new to complain about. Because feminists and complaining are, as fuckwit Watson would put it, synonymous. And I guess a lot of people like to call me a man-hater. Which I happily am. Oh, damn. Look at that mm-hmm uh -huh. head roll she's got going on there. Yeah, I hate men and damn proud of it too. I happily hate fathers, brothers, sons, just anything with a dick, basically. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it doesn't really hurt men if I hate them, but it hurts women to hate women. Okay, I know English is not your first language, but what the fuck did you mean by that? We can see that, you know, we can just look at the statics when it comes to rape and violence against women. Of course, men don't ever experience rape or violence from women who would describe themselves as you have as hating men based solely on their gender. Do you see now? You see how you're a hypocritical fucktar that campaigns for equality between the sexes except for men? Or all that, you know, so I, I don't really care, but I do care somewhere. She doesn't really care, but she does care. Let's hope young girls who look up to you see beyond this crap. I want people to understand, but I hope they do one day. Lady, no one's ever going to understand what the fuck you're saying. So as someone who does care, but doesn't care, look out behind you!